So far, we've been using hard-coded data in our tools. When someone asks about the weather in Gotham City, we return a fixed response. This works great for understanding how tools work, but it's not very useful in the real world. Users want actual weather data. In this lesson, we will connect our weather tool to a real weather API. We will fetch live weather data and return it to the user. But here's where it gets really interesting. Since tool outputs can be structured data, we can do more than just display text. We can create rich visual interfaces based on the tool results. Let's dive in and see how. First, we need a weather API. For this lesson, we will use weatherapi.com. It's free for development and provides comprehensive weather data. So go to weatherapi.com and sign up for a free account to get an API key. Once you have your API key, add it to your .env.local file. The key will be weather underscore API underscore key and the value you can find in your weather API account. Make sure to restart your development server after adding the environment variable. All right, time to create a new implementation that uses the real API. So in the API folder, create a new folder called API tool. Copy the route handler from the tools folder as a starting point. So route.ts from tools, copy and paste inside API tool. Now let's update the execute function to call the actual weather API. So replace the hard-coded data with a fetch call. Const response is equal to await fetch. And I'm going to paste the URL. It's http api.weatherapi.com slash v1 slash current.json. Key is equal to process.env.weatherapi key. And the query parameter is our city, which is the input. Once we have the response, convert it to JSON. So const data is equal to await response.json and return data. This works, but the weather API returns a lot of data we don't need. For our example, let's extract just the essential information. Some elements from location, some elements from the current temperature, as well as the condition. So we create a weather data object, const weather data, with just the fields we care about. That would be location, which is an object, name, data.location.name, country, data.location.country, and local time, data.location.local time. Similarly, we need the current temperature in Celsius, so data.current.temperature in Celsius, and the condition. This is going to be text, and there's a code associated with it. This condition code will be useful later for styling. We return weather data instead of the complete data. Perfect, our route handler is ready. Next, in the UI folder, create a new folder called API tool with a page.tsx file. Copy the code from UI slash tools page.tsx as a starting point. Update the component name and the API endpoint. So this is going to be API tools chat page. The endpoint is API hyphen tools. And don't forget to update the import for the chat message type, API hyphen tool slash route. For the output available state, we need to update our JSX. We're going to render part.output.location.name along with temperature in Celsius. So part.output.current.temperature. And finally, the text current.condition.text. Our UI updates are ready. Very minimal changes, as you can see. I just noticed the API endpoint should be API-tool. All right, let's test this. In the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash UI slash API tool. You should see the chat interface. Ask a question, what's the weather in London? And you should see the real weather data the temperature, conditions, and even the local time in London. You can try different cities like Tokyo, New York, or Paris. Each returns actual current weather data. But here is where the tool calling becomes really powerful. Instead of just showing text or JSON, 
we can create beautiful visual components based on this tool output. So let's build a weather card that displays the data in an attractive, easy to read format. Back in VS Code, in the API tool UI folder, create a new file, weathercard.tsx. Since this is a straightforward React component, I will paste the component code, then walk through what it does. You can define your own component with your own styles to display the tool output, but let me walk you through what this component does. First, we define TypeScript interfaces. Weather data matches the structure of what our tool returns. This weather data right here. Then we have weather card props, which defines the component's props. Weather style interface defines the color scheme for different weather conditions. Within the weather card component, we have a get weather style function, which is an interesting bit. It takes the weather condition code and returns appropriate tailwind classes. Sunny weather gets warm amber colors. Cloudy weather gets slate gray. Rain gets blue tones. Snowy gets sky blue. So each weather type has its own color palette that creates the right mood. The format time function takes the local time string and formats it nicely, showing just the R and minutes with AM or PM. In the components return statement, we create a compact weather card. It's a horizontal rectangle with the city name and local time on the left, temperature and conditions on the right. The background color changes based on the weather condition, creating a visual representation of the weather that you can understand at a glance. As I already mentioned, you don't have to copy this exact same component. It's a straightforward React component, so define your own JSX and style it the way you want to. Once you have the component ready, let's use it in our page.tsx. Import the weather card at the top, so import weather card from dot slash weather card. Find the case for handling tool get weather output available. And currently, it simply displays text values for location name, the current temperature, and the condition text. Replace this with the weather card component. So div, the key prop remains, but a simpler class name for some margin. And then we render the weather card component with weather data props set to part.output. This matches our interface structure. The weather card component will handle all the visual representation. All right, let's test it out. Let's save this and head to the browser. In the browser, you should already see the weather card component being rendered. We have this weather card with a purple or violet background, which is the default style. You can see background color, BG violet. The temperature is prominently displayed. The local time shows you AM or PM. And we also have the condition code text, cloudy. The code we have only checks for snow, rain, partly cloudy or sunny. So cloudy falls back to the default styles. Let's refresh and ask, what's the weather in Paris right now? We can see it's 5, 7 p.m., 24 degrees Celsius and partly cloudy. And the gray background reflects partly cloudy. What's the weather in New York? And we see it's 10.57 a.m., 24 degrees and sunny. The warm amber background reflects that. The visual design changes to match the weather. This is why structured tool output is so powerful. We're not just getting text back from our tools. We're getting data we can transform into rich user interfaces. It's the perfect combination of AI intelligence and traditional UI development. All right, we have successfully connected our tool to a real API and created a beautiful visual interface for the results. Let me summarize what we have done. We started by integrating with weatherapi.com, replacing our hard-coded data with live weather information. The tool now fetches real temperatures, conditions, and local times for any city in the world. But we didn't just stop at displaying the data. We built a weather card component that transforms the structured tool output into an attractive color-coded weather display. The card adapts its colors based on weather conditions, making the information instantly understandable. We render the component in page.tsx for the case output available. Of course, you're not limited to just weather. Any API you can call, any data you can fetch can become a tool. 
and any tool output can become a rich interactive interface. This is how you build AI applications that don't just talk about the world, but actually interact with it.